guys, I have a surprise for you. Meet my little fur baby. Look at my little baby. His name is Bo. He's still sleepy. Because I'm a terrible mom that woke him up from his little nap. <laughs> he is only four months old. And I adopted him from Petco. He loves to cuddle. And he is so active when he's awake. And he loves taking naps and sleeping. So, oh, and he likes to eat a lot. It's pretty normal for ferrets to eat a lot and sleep a lot and to be active. So I only had him for about two months now. And I'm so excited that I actually got him. I wasn't going to get him intentionally or on purpose. Because I was in Petco with me and my husband. And we were like... We didn't see that they had ferrets and honestly I wanted to go inside Petco and just to look around and just see like animals, different types of what they have because we were just killing time with me and my husband and my brother and we turned around and we saw ferrets and I was like oh my god I didn't know that they had ferrets here in Petco and I was so shocked. I was like debating if I should get them or I don't know there were so many of them. There's about five or six of them all in one cage. It was a pretty big cage for them and they told me that he was the most sweetest one out of all of them. But when I first got him, he was biting a lot. I mean, it's pretty normal because he's still a baby, but he was biting a lot and they were just jumping around in there. They were so cute. I wish I had a clip of him, but I'm too bad I didn't record them. I have to say he is kind of a lot to handle. So I'm going to list out the basics of the pros and the cons of owning a ferret. I'm going to just start off with the pros of owning a ferret. So basically they are so active. They are friendly. They love to play with you. So whenever you're busy or going out, I mean, they'll sleep. They sleep about a good three hours or probably even more, depending how active they are during the day or how active they are before nap time because they'll sleep for a very long time. About these ferrets, they live up about to five to ten years, depending how good and well you take care of them especially what they eat they are carnivores so they eat mostly meat like chicken breast lamb or beef 
but um, anything that, it could be raw or cooked so depending I feed him with this premium ferret diet food right here they're not really maintenance on showering or giving them a bath basically because you could only give them a bath once a month they do tend to stink up to me it's not a really big issue because it's not that strong to me um, but eventually you get used to it. I use baby wipes that are unscented and whenever he starts stinking up, I use those baby wipes and just like wipe him down. For his playtime, I usually let him out about a good one to three hours of playtime. And then after that, he just takes about a good two or three hour nap. <laughs> wake you up in the middle of the night because they want to play i have his bedtime set for like 11 o'clock at night or sometimes around 12 so he'll sleep about a good six seven hours until the morning time tend to get ear mites so they're pretty disgusting and you would have to clean mostly every once or two weeks so what i use to clean Bo's ear is this ferret ear cleaner so it works pretty good um, basically, you just use a little cotton swab, soak it up, and just clean his ears just like how we clean our ears, but they clean it with a ferret ear cleaner. I recommend getting this ferret odor remover spray. It works pretty good, mainly when they poop and they pee. It tends to stink up a lot, so I use that afterwards. And also another con about ferrets is that they will tend to take your stuff and hide it away from you. I've done that multiple times. Bears do get along with other animals that are bigger, um, but for some reason that they said that they don't get along with smaller animals, but I'm guessing that they might bite each other or they might eat each other, so you just never know. So if you do decide to get a ferret, make sure that you keep supervised with your small little animals but your big animals should be fine and i'm gonna show you guys this cage so you see or get a glimpse of what he sleeps in so this is his cage this is kind of the tinier one i do plan on getting him a bigger cage later on but because since he's growing up i want to give him like a bigger cage that has like more levels so he can run around and play in so this is his little eating area and his and his little stairs that he climb up and all the way up to there. This is his bedding right here and he tends to dig but I don't know he he just likes digging. And I made him like a DIY <laughs> DIY hammock which totally failed because I mean I, he at first he didn't like it but then i guess he got used to it and he already made a hole in it it's good to clean the ferris cage every two weeks so they can sleep nice and cozy and there won't be anything wrong with their respiratory system if you do plan on getting a ferret please please do your research all in all ferrets are super friendly and they're super sweet they love to bite but they don't bite that hard and I do recommend getting a ferret if you do decide to get a little fur baby. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was very formative. If you guys do plan on buying a ferret or ferrets, make sure you do some research, some good research. 